Hello, uh, today I'd like to talk about uh, Tick Tick Boom, the new movie directed by Emmanuel Miranda. Um, I have been uh, seeing these uh, interviews and uh, film clips and uh, uh, preview stuff and everything uh, in the internet for the uh, last week. And uh, when I was uh, um, cruising around Netflix, I found this movie. Uh, this is a Netflix movie, I would say. So you can watch it on Netflix. So I watched it and I really liked it. Um, I'm not uh, a you know, rock music fan, a uh, rock musical fan that much, but I own the DVD of uh, Rent. Uh, so, you know, even for me, uh, from an uh, old timer who loves the uh, old musicals and old uh, uh, way of singing the songs, right? Uh, Rogers and Hart, Rogers and Hammerstein musicals and so forth, I love those. Uh, so, but, you know, as a musical fan, I uh, paid attention, especially Lynn um, created Hamilton. I love that musical and uh, Rent not so much but I have a DVD so that means uh, good enough for me to buy the DVD and uh, but yesterday I watched this particular movie I think it's um, it's a threefold that I was impressed uh, first of all the Jonathan uh, Larson's uh, life itself. Uh, he uh, he was uh, like a very gifted, um, you know, uh, songwriters and musical theater kids when he was growing up, and he got accolade from all the schools and the uh, theaters and everything. But uh, when uh, he started to do. Um, musical uh, writing career, I think he struggled because uh, not so many people interested in his stuff. And, uh, uh, but uh, uh, he uh, kind of uh, rejected, rejected another rejection, uh, living a very, very poor life in, a, uh, you know, probably the uh, you know, Manhattan uh, somewhere uh, that he was living in an apartment. And uh, so, you know, I knew that uh, uh, when I saw the rent, you know, it's about uh, uh, the life in uh, uh, Broadway, I would say, area where struggling artists are living as a Puccini's La Boheme. And, um, so uh, I knew that, but uh, this time I think I got to know him more as, a, as an artist, as a talented kid who create a song, especially songs he created. I think, uh, yeah, it is interesting. And I think uh, in the movie, uh, there's a um, Stephen Sondheim showed up there in the movie, interested in uh, Jonathan's uh, uh, crafts, I would say. So, you know, some people kind of uh, paid attention to him and everything, even though he was uh, struggling. And uh, so that's one thing. The other thing is that um, uh, Andrew Garfield, you know, I knew him a uh, long, long time. I think uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, Kazu Ishiguro's uh, Never Let Me Go. He was one of the characters uh, along, along with uh, Kate Mulligan and um, uh, Keira Knightley. And uh, so at that time I, I, I liked him as an actor, right? But he, later on he, he did uh, uh, Andrew Garfield uh, did uh, Mel Gibson uh, movie Huxo Ridge and uh, Martin Scorsese's The Silence. Uh, this is a story of a uh, uh, Spanish uh, Christian uh, 
uh, coming to uh, Japan, uh, a story by Endo Shusaku. But anyway, so I, I, I see those films, I saw that and uh, I, I liked him. But uh, more than ever in this film, he impressed me. Um, by the way, he, uh, he did uh, Angels of America and uh, also uh, just recently, I think five years ago or so, and I uh, got uh, Tony for that too. And so he, he was also a very, very good stage actor as well as a movie actor. But I never thought he could uh, play this particular role of uh, Jonathan Larson. Um, Tick Tick Boom uh, as a, a performer. He was very good. He was very uh, bravado and uh, he moves uh, uh, very well <laughs> and um, he project his uh, personality uh, uh, beyond that uh, you can imagine. and. Uh, but more than that, I think uh, uh, Lim directed this film and uh, I was amazed at uh, how uh, Lim could uh, create uh, this particular film. And um, uh, yeah, it is very good. I think especially the message is as this, you know, it's like uh, you, you have a passion and you try to live uh, with this passion and very very confident in this particular thing even though he uh, you know you struggle uh, through that but at the end you are confident but the people sometimes I think producers uh, so forth in the Broadway uh, kind of a reject because uh, you know it's not uh, financially successful musicals or anything, so they, they don't take it as, as seriously. Uh, but through all these rejections and turning down, being turned down, uh, you know, he, he succeeded with rent. In this film, the, this is a pre-rent period where um, he was uh, creating this particular uh, musical. Uh, super beer or something like that and uh, uh, but nobody was interested in taking up on it and so tick tick boom is I think uh, uh, used uh, all the uh, his uh, performance as a uh, more or less like a, a cabaret type of setting that he sings uh, what his life uh, has been and everything and uh, so that's what this uh, Andrew Garfield play uh, Jonathan there and uh, but uh, more than anything else I think uh, those three individuals Jonathan Larson, Andrew, Andrew Garfield, Lynn Manuel Miranda those got together and became a fantastic film. I think uh, especially for young people who has this talent or the passion. They're the same, huh? aren't they? <laughs> um, you know, the, even though you get the rejections, you still thrive in that particular environment. And uh, you try to pers uh, pursue your dream. And uh, that's a very, very good message and uh, very uplifting uh, performance um, and uh, directions was fantastic. So I strongly recommend that uh, uh, people who are especially into the uh, um, Broadway theater. Oh, by the way, you get lots, lots of cameo. Oh, be before the cameo, uh, Josh Henry was in that movie playing some role there and Judy Kuhn is there and a lot of, lots of other people in the cameo role <laughs> all the famous Broadway actors and uh, actresses uh, show up 
uh, you know. Uh, so if you're a musical fan, uh, especially you are familiar with the uh, Broadway theaters, uh, you notice here and there the faces that uh, you remember, you know. And uh, lots of people shows up there with brief time. Uh, but uh, you know, even the uh, Mario Miranda shows up only a few seconds in that film, and so uh, it's fun to to watch it, and it's fun to 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 experience uh, this Jonathan Larson song, uh, very clever as uh, music making. I would say, uh, you know, you have to have a certain uh, talent to make a, a song. And uh, I could see that uh, very well in this particular movie. So I recommend 100% uh, for uh, people who are interested in musical theater or passion in a musical theater. And, but if you have uh, Andrew Garfield's fan, Lim uh, Manuel Miranda's fan, I think you should see that too as well. Okay, so that's my few cents today. Bye.